just had to do some uh, rodent maneuvering because I was using, I had this in Tylee's cage, which is the same exact, the same exact type of wheel and saucer that she had in her cage back at the pet store. It's the same exact one, it's even the same color. And I just, I was scared that she wasn't using it because I never saw her on it and I would watch her a lot. Um, kind of nocturnal right now so so I would watch her come out of her cage I'd watch her you know like check out her little garage and and eat some food and stuff and she really loves that uh, cat ceramic hide I put in there I just like uh, ripped up a bunch of toilet paper and put that in there and she really likes that too but I never saw her even touch her saucer what are you doing what are you doing I have her in um, the hamster ball right now I know they're not the safest but it's the only choice I have right now and I'm watching her pretty closely but, um, so I saw that she was awake and I went ahead and picked her up and I tried to teach her how to use the saucer because I was thinking, okay, well, just because it was in there doesn't mean she was using it. You know, pet stores aren't always the most attentive. So I tried to make sure she knew how to use it. And dear God, she's so little. I think she's too tiny even for the smallest thing they had. Like there was not a smaller size. And even with the wheels like this, first of all, they were like 20 bucks, but this was like half the price. And that they were all like way bigger. So I tried teaching her how to use the saucer and she couldn't even get it to move. Like she did every once in a while, but it just like, there was no way she'd be able to use that. So I tried to uh, switch out this wheel with the saucer to see if Coraline could use it. And I think Coraline is too big. She also couldn't move it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the saucer now, but I had uh, this wheel back here from when Patton was still with us. I actually have um, this one in a blue one that's the same size because um, when I originally got Patton, I got him with a brother, uh, Roman. So uh, Roman had that red one back there and Patton had the blue one. So I have bigger wheels and um, when I first got Coraline, she must have grown because when I first got Coraline, I tried giving her the blue one because Jinx had this one. So I tried giving her the blue one and she couldn't get it to move. So she was too small for it back then. Honey, I know you're tiny, but you can get it to move. Like, who are you going? You just can't go over wires like that. So, um, I did a lot of I did a lot of trading around to just find something that everybody could use and I finally got her to use this purple wheel which is the smallest one I have. I never knew I would have to get smaller than this and you, you, you gotta be careful not to get too small because um, the wheel has to be big enough for them to run in on it with their back completely straight or else it's not safe to like break their back or something. So um, I think this one is finally a good size that she should be able to use. But <laughs> just like pulling out everything I had and trying to find something because I don't know if she's gotten any exercise since she got here and it's been no more than a week but even that is still like a lot. And um, I don't think she was getting any exercise in her tank at the pet store either, because like I said, that, that um, the saucer I grabbed is the same exact one, the same exact size, and it was the only one she had in there. And I'm thinking the reason that she's so fucking crazy, she's so crazy, is because she never gets any exercise. And maybe this might make her less skittish too. So I'm cleaning this out because it's been in Coraline's cage for a while. And honestly, I need to clean Coraline and Jinx's cage anyway, so it's a little bit gross. I'm gonna clean this out so she can use it. I also need to clean out this ball because this ball is fucking disgusting too. But like I said, it's not really safe for rodents, so I don't use it very often, only if I have to. Come here. Here, I'll show you with the saucer first. Like, see, she's moving around on it fine, and I show her, oh, sorry, sorry, I show her to do it, and it can move a little bit, but not when she actually tries to run on it. Like, see, it, like, it doesn't really work. So, come here. But if I show her this wheel, she's still, I don't think she's ever used a wheel before, so, you know, she's a little bit unsure, but she can definitely get it to work if I, like, cover... Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I think this will work. <laughs> Look how tiny she is. 
No. Oh my god. <laughs> I know I've been pressing my luck, letting a little robo hamster just do what she wants. Come here. Come here, honey. Come here. Come here. She keeps running back and forth under the chairs. <laughs> I got her. <laughs> Maybe that's enough exercise. That's enough exercise for me. That's all. What do you have to say for yourself, huh? <laughs> so it's uh, been a little while since I updated the video. So um, I just wanted to talk about some things that I've been working on lately. Um, I've still been drafting Super Kids. I'm a little bit over 350 pages now and I'm pretty sure I'm still writing in chapter 49, so I'm falling pretty behind on deadlines, but um, I'm not too worried about it because I forgot the next month is October, not November, which I do every year, and I don't know why I always forget about October, even though it's my favorite month. But, um, so I'm not as pressed for time as I thought I was. And I also uh, gave myself something else to do, because apparently I don't have enough. Um, on Tumblr, there's this thing called Lumptober. Um, Lump is like a fanfiction genre. And basically they give a prompt for each day of the month. And um, I decided that I really wanted to do, to do that, because um, it's really hard to find Wump fics that don't include major character death or like a tragic ending, which I don't really like those things, but I've like fallen in love with the genre, so it's been hard to find. It's always interesting when I hear something moving and I don't know which hamster it is, <laughs> especially because Tylee is so tiny and she blends in with the bedding. But yeah, so uh, since it's been kind of difficult to find fix that I can actually read in that genre, I've been writing it a lot, and um, I had a fun idea, so I've been working on that too. I outlined the entire thing. Um, instead of doing a like 31 standalone fix, I turned it into an AU, and so um, it's all going to be a um, different fix for the same story. And I outlined the entire thing, and um, I've... I've uh, drafted and scheduled the first five fix. I'm hoping to have at least I'm hoping to have at least 16 of them done before the end of this month. So I'm pretty far ahead. Um, past that, I've been working on my baking a lot. I made a lot of progress last night on a menu. Um, I just need to actually I'm gonna bake some cupcakes here in a minute because I need to test out. Um, I'm not sure if it works this way. Um, converting things from being vegan to being vegan and gluten-free and vice versa. Um, there's a couple recipes that I only have a gluten-free version for, and one of those is um, for strawberry cupcakes. And I just can't afford to buy fresh strawberries right now just to um, test out a recipe that's not gluten-free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my recipe for... Uh, gluten-free vanilla cupcakes and I'm going to see if I can just sub it out where um, I use the same amount of flour except I use uh, just regular flour take out the xanthan gum and see if that does the same thing because <laughs> uh, I really don't know if the conversions work that way um, for vegan recipes I never look up a specifically vegan recipe I just look up a regular one and then I substitute it in because I find that works a lot better but I don't know how gluten-free food works so I always look up a specifically gluten-free recipe um, I'm about to make some more cupcakes 
and hopefully make more progress on the menu tonight. Um, and I need to do some writing, obviously. Um, I need to work on my blog tonight. I need to not forget that. I need to get the first post for October outlined. Um, I finished all the research for it, which was just watching Netflix, so it wasn't hard. But uh, now I need to actually put together the outline and get my ideas together. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the kitchen and I need to clean it a little bit first and then I'm gonna start baking, so you'll see some of that probably.